albeit it may not be the fountain of youth, but when it comes to muscle, it is actually pretty darn close. And what I'm talking about is nicotinamide riboside. And recently discovered it was actually able to reverse aged muscle, at least in animals, but it was able to do it. Now we have to work it to see if it works in humans. All right, research title, which I'm gonna use the subtitle first, just because it explains more. Penn study illuminates role of essential compound in maintaining physical endurance and a possible muscular dystrophy treatment. You'll understand why in a second. NAD levels, nicotinamide, adenine, I want to say adenine, but adenine, dinucleotide, otherwise you'll just say NAD for short, decline in multiple tissues with age or in disease, which compromises skeletal muscle and strength over time, but can be quickly restored with an oral NAD precursor, i.e. nicotinamide riboside. Upregulation of the NAD salvage pathway preserves exercise performance in aged mice. Let's get right into study parameters. Citation title, loss of NAD, nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, homeostasis leads to progressive irreversible gen gene generation of skeletal muscle, published in Cell Metabolism this August 2016. Study parameters to full HTML is public and it is in excellent detail. Funded by the National Institute of Health, I'm kind of worried about a possible COI because one of the suppliers was a study collaborator. Study participants were uh, unwilling or willing animals, per se. Length of the study was generally seven weeks. However, they examined the results, which were phenomenal after the first week. Dosage and administration was 400 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, and the nicotinamide riboside is what they utilized was dissolved in water. Source, you could see for yourself, results. Muscle decline was completely, and I emphasize the word, completely reversed by feeding the mice a form of vitamin B3 called nicotinamide riboside, as I'm quoting, with an unexpected muscular dystrophy finding. Now it's kind of interesting because, remember the thing that said in the beginning, nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, well, those levels didn't decline with age. So what they did is they reduced those levels down in the mice, and they found something quite intriguing, that it mimicked the exact same uh, symptoms in muscular dystrophy. So that opened up an entirely new pathway, which was unexpected for the researchers, which I'm sure we'll hear about later. May also be deleted in some forms of dystrophy. Restoring NAD might help ameliorate certain features of the disease. Oh, and by the way, once they completely reversed, not only completely reversed, it actually outperformed the way the young mice were that didn't have any depletion of what we call NAD. Let's go to chart number one to move things along. All right, research results. This is week one. Look at the red box area, chart A and B. The red is obviously what happened to the mice after they were depleted of this NAD substance. The blue are the mice that got nicotinamide riboside that were depleted in NAD. Look how well they performed. After one week, they almost restored all the muscle loss resulting from that aged muscle uh, type effect. After, now here's the cat to kicker. All right, look at the blue line and the B chart right there. The control group are the young mice. The green line are the older mice which had the NAD levels uh, uh, basically minus from the muscle. And then fed nicotinamide riboside to see if it helped restore it. They actually kind of performed the control group of the younger mice. That is freaking phenomenal. Let's go into chart number two, if I only had fingernails, all right. Chart number two. All right, let's just look at the A part of this. Now you see the arrow going there? Still phenomenal after six weeks. Red line, old muscle, depleted in this thing called NAD. Blue, the young mice were just running around minding their own business. Green, the older muscle group of mice that are being fed nicotinamide riboside. Look at that. According to this graph right here, they're actually outperforming the younger mice even though their muscles were made to be older. That's incredible. But to follow through with the synopsis as follows. At first, we were surprised how rapidly nicotinamide riboside NR was able to reactivate, reactivate dormant mitochondria in muscle despite being largely consumed by other cell, uh, cell types. It appears that a relatively small enhancement in muscle nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide 
can have profound functional consequences in this setting. Of course, I mispronounced consequences. Muscle decline was completely, this is their quotes, not mine, you know, I like to read directly from the study, was completely reversed by feeding the mice a form of vitamin B3, as we stated before, the nicotinamide riboside, which, by the way, is fairly common that you can find in practically any health food store. And to conclude, the supporting evidence that strategies to enhance muscle NAD synthesis, such as through NR supplementation, nicotinamide, riboside, might help to combat age-associated frailty. And this was all done oral. Remember, they just took the nicotinamide riboside and just dissolved it in water and just gave it to the animals to drink on down. However, keep in mind, this is preliminary. It still has to see if these incredible results translate to humans. But in the meantime, still, incredibly, incredibly promising, and even better yet, possibly a, an obscure or just out of the blue discovery in the treatment of muscular dystrophy may li lie somewhere in this research. Again, this is Ralph Turciano. I look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. And as always, thank you very, very much for listening. And I'll catch you then. Bye, guys. Bye.